Yo, what's up dudes? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to pan audio in FL Studio. So you have been warned, this might be a little loud. I'm going to play the clip now. This is what you're going to sound like after we're done. Alright, so it seems pretty simple, right? Uh, all you're doing is just shifting the audio back and forth, left and right, through uh, the cups of the ears. That's what I call them. <clears throat> All right, so first thing you want to do, let's just grab something. It don't matter what it is. I like close hi hats. Let's do that. So we're gonna grab a free pattern here. We're just gonna answer two steps. So this is what we sound like uh, without panning. Pretty straightforward, right? So what we want to do now, it's always gonna be on this left hand side. Ignore all this other stuff. I'm working on a track at the moment. Um, whatever thing that you've put on here it's gonna be right here on this left hand side it's gonna say channel panning you're gonna right click on this you're gonna create automation clip and it's gonna bring this little envelope here and this is what you're gonna mess with in order to get that effect the simplest way to do it is just to adjust the speed now we're gonna take a listen and you can hear it now you can completely change it uh, you can adjust the tension right here and this is going to make them look like hills, those little lines. And basically, the, the sound is going to drop in the left and right ear cups. This is left, right, left, right. And it's going to make the effect stronger. You really got to play around with it. That's really the best way I can describe it to you. You have to play around with it in order to really learn its features. But there's so much you can do with this, especially with rhythm type basses and dubstep type growls super super awesome and I use panning with everything so uh that's pretty basic right there I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial like and subscribe if you did and if you have any uh future suggestions let me know in the comments below thank you